Hey there, Benjamin from Love Starter here. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to exclude internal traffic from Google Analytics 4, GA4. If you don't filter out your own traffic, then you and anybody else in your organization will be included in your reports. And if you're visiting your website a lot, this can skew some of the most important metrics. So let's cover the steps to stop this from happening. There are different ways you can exclude internal traffic from showing up in your reports. If you've searched online, then you might come across suggestions that include using query parameters, campaign tags, and even setting up an extra cookie on your browser. But the most reliable way to exclude internal traffic is by filtering your IP address or addresses in Google Analytics. Let's start with the basics. How do you find your IP address? One option is to search on Google for what is my IP address. This will give you your current public IP address. And you can use this when configuring Google Analytics. There are a few considerations though. If you're at home, then it's likely you're using a dynamic IP address. This means that your IP address can change. This also means it's really hard to define your IP address in Google Analytics. So if you really need to exclude your own traffic, then you'll probably need to ask your service provider for a static IP address that doesn't change. And if you're at work, then talk to whoever looks after your internet access. They should be able to tell you the IP addresses or ranges you'll need to exclude from Google Analytics. Once you've found your IP address, addresses or IP range, then it's time to head to Google Analytics. There are two steps we need to complete. The first step is to define our internal traffic. To do this, we select data streams. Then you'll need to choose your data stream. We can see that I only have one data stream in my demo account, but if you do have multiple streams, you will need to repeat this for every stream. Okay, let's select the stream. Now we need to scroll to the bottom and choose more tagging settings. And we select define internal traffic. One issue you might encounter when you exclude your own traffic is that it becomes impossible to troubleshoot your implementation using the debug view in Google Analytics. I'm hoping that Google addresses this in the future, but I wanted to show you two techniques you can use today to get around this issue. I'm going to create two traffic rules and I'll show you why in a moment. So let's click create. For my first rule, I'm going to define my IP address. So I'm going to name the rule traffic from Benjamin. I'm going to change the traffic type value to Benjamin. And I'm going to enter my IP address. What this traffic rule will do is it will add an additional parameter of traffic type with a value of Benjamin to the events that come from my IP address. And we will configure a filter in a moment to exclude this traffic. Okay, now let's click create. And I'm going to create one more filter. Let's click create again. I'm going to name this rule traffic from loves data. This time I'm going to leave internal as the value of the traffic type parameter, and I'm going to enter the IP address of the Loves Data office. So this rule is basically for all other internal traffic that will be visiting the website. Again, I will show you why I have done this in a moment. Now let's click Create. Okay, now I want to highlight that if you're the only person you want to exclude from your reports, then you only need to create one of these rules. And I would probably go with the second rule we created. On the other hand, if you have lots of people who are considered internal, then you will probably need to create additional rules. Now let's navigate back. and we need to select data settings and then data filters. Now let's click create filter. 
select internal traffic and let's name the filter exclude traffic from Benjamin. We're going to leave exclude selected and we're going to change internal to Benjamin as this is what I entered for my rule. Then at the bottom, we're going to select active. This filter will exclude my traffic from the reports in Google Analytics. Let's create the filter. Now we're going to create another filter. Let's select internal traffic again, and let's name the filter exclude traffic from loves data. We're going to leave exclude selected and we're going to leave internal as the value. This filter will exclude the second rule we created previously. Now let's create the filter. Okay, now that we've created the traffic rules and the filters, we'll now be excluding our internal traffic from Google Analytics. But the problem I mentioned previously about using the debug view still applies. Let's head to Google Tag Assistant to take a look. Okay, so I've loaded Tag Assistant and I'm going to open my demo website. The website loads and we can see Tag Assistant has been enabled. This would normally mean that we could use the debug view in Google Analytics to check all of the events as they're collected. So let's head to Google Analytics. Let's navigate to the debug view. And we can see nothing is coming through to the debug view. This is because we filtered our own traffic from Google Analytics. And I'm not really sure why, but this does include the debug view. So how can we use the debug view and exclude our internal traffic from Google Analytics? Let's look at the first option. To do this, let's head back to the admin area. And let's select data settings. And then data filters. Now, because we took the time to create two rules and two filters, what we can do is simply disable the filter for our traffic while we use the debug view. Before we do this though, I want you to create one more filter. Let's click create and let's choose developer traffic. Let's name the filter exclude developer traffic and let's leave exclude selected and let's select active at the bottom. This filter will let us use the debug view, but the traffic will be excluded from the reports. Let's click create. Now I can deactivate my filter. And I can head back to Tag Assistant. And reload my website. Now let's head back to Google Analytics and let's navigate to the debug view. We can now see the debug events I've collected using Tag Assistant. Once I've finished testing things out, I can then navigate back to the admin area. Select data settings, then data filters, and reactivate my filter to exclude my own traffic. So that's one technique you can use to exclude your own traffic and make use of the debug view. It's not ideal, but this works no matter how you've added Google Analytics to your website. It works if you're using a built-in integration, a plugin, or the gtag.js code. Now I want to show you one more option if you're using Google Tag Manager. Let's head to Google Tag Manager to take a look.
Since we've already configured the rule and filter in Google Analytics, we're going to make an adjustment in Google Tag Manager. This will mean that when we use the preview mode, we'll be able to see the events collected in the debug view. To do this, let's navigate to variables. And let's click configure for the built-in variables. We need to enable the debug mode variable. This variable returns a value of true when we're previewing our Google Tag Manager container and false when the container isn't being previewed. Okay, now let's close this and create a new user-defined variable. Let's name the variable traffic type. And let's select variable configuration and choose lookup table as the variable type. Now let's select the debug mode variable as the input and let's click add row. Let's enter true as the input and enter debug as the value. This variable will look at the value returned by the debug mode variable we just enabled. And when the value is true, it will output the value of debug. We're going to use this in our GA4 tag in just a moment. Let's click save. And let's navigate to tags. Let's find our existing GA4 configuration tag and select it. Let's click tag configuration to edit our tag. And let's select fields to set. And we're going to click add row. Now let's enter traffic underscore type all lowercase as the field name. And for the value on the right, we can enter two opening curly brackets or braces and then find our traffic type variable. Or if you prefer, you can click the icon on the right to select the variable too. Now let's save the tag. And let's click preview. I'm going to load my demo website. And now I'm going to head back to Tag Assistant. I'm going to select the GA4 measurement ID at the top. And then the page view event. We can now see the traffic type, which is represented by TT, now has a value of debug. This has overwritten the rule we set up in Google Analytics, which also means it won't be filtered out as internal traffic. The technique we've covered in Google Tag Manager means you don't need to make any further adjustments. Your internal traffic will be excluded from the report and you can use the debug view when you're previewing your container using Google Tag Manager. So that's how you can exclude your own traffic from Google Analytics 4 using traffic rules and filters, and two ways you can continue to use the debug view. Are you excluding internal traffic? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next video.